Assassin's Creed Odyssey is big. Real big. See the distance between this statue's gentleman region and that town over there? That distance only covers from here to here on a map that's larger than your mum after a Greg's lock-in. Walking it would take days, which is probably why all the boats seem to travel at about 100 miles per hour, despite being made of balsa wood. A horse. The game is set 400 years before the birth of that barn baby everybody loves so much, and this time around is a full-on RPG. Your character, Cassandra, unless you're boring enough to pick whatever the fuck the bloke was called, is a bisexual mercenary goat proctologist who spends all her free time spartan kicking anything that moves off of anything that doesn't. I love her. She'd probably eat me. <clears throat> Combat has been seriously improved from the counterfest of previous games and is now heavily level driven with a nice mix of piddly weak enemies, folks on equal footing to you and relentless murder bastard terminators that have been half inch from Shadow of Mordor's nemesis system. Clearing out a fort is genuinely tricky this time around but that might just be because I'm about as stealthy as a shopping trolley falling down a lift shaft. Over on the big blue wet thing, Black Flag style boat naughtiness returns, this time wildly enhanced thanks to the ability to leap off your boat and stab a shark in the mush. There's treasure to die for, storms to battle against, uh, friendly trade vessels to literally rip in half for a few dented coins. Sure, it's murder, but I really do need to buy this item that turns my horse into a unicorn. They'll understand when they're older. They weren't dead. Downside time, this game is to microtransactions what your mum is to a hot sausage roll. If you're looking to blow hundreds of hours completing every single side quest, then you'll likely never see them, but if you have any form of a life, uh, then they'll uncomfortably rub up against you at some point like you were trying to squeeze past them on a bus. It's a shame because Assassin's Creed Odyssey is genuinely excellent, utterly gorgeous, and about as fun as climbing up a massive stone penis for no reason other than to giggle. Goodbye.